Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here for August 31st, 2022, tomorrow September, and it's the best time of the year. Everybody goes back to school. <laughs> How's everybody? As promised, look at this gigantic box. This is what we call in the photography business a steal. Here's what happened. I went on eBay just a few days ago and I was looking for my favorite rangefinder film camera besides Leica. I was looking for the Konica Auto S2. Now I did a few videos on that camera, told you guys to go buy them. The prices have gone up since my video came out. So I've been buying them because I know how to restore the foggy rangefinder viewfinder. I know how to open it up, clean the inside uh, viewfinder glass, the mirrors, all the inside workings, clean it up and put it back together. So I buy them for a very low price. I haven't managed to sell any yet because I didn't post any. They're just too good to get rid of. That's how good the cameras are. And for most of the time, very inexpensive. All right, let's get back to this heavy box. Now, this box is a little bit too big for one camera, right? It's pretty big. This is the priority box. Uh, 12 inches by 10 inch box, six inches high, right? It's pretty big. That's because there's more than one camera in here. This camera, what's ha what happened here? Okay, this eBay steal started like this. I searched on eBay for the Konica Auto S2 and the Konica Auto S5. There is no S5, but like I told you, um, the script that they use on the camera makes it look like auto 52, auto uh, S2. So you have to search for, for both, right? 52 and S2. There, there is no such camera as the 52. Anyway, so I very, very rarely look for the auction section of eBay because it takes days and days and you don't know if you win and sometimes the the auctions end at a weird time two o'clock in the morning so i usually just look buy it now lowest price okay keeping in mind you want a seller right credibility 100 percent if possible with hundreds of feedback so this time i made a little deviation because of my videos the Konica Auto S2s have been disappearing they've been selling like this on eBay so I went to something I don't do normally is I went to the auction listings and son of a gun wouldn't you know it there was a Konica Auto S2 for auction $19 was the starting bid I says hmm What's going on here? Because the, in the title, it said, what I tell you guys to look for, tested and working. It said, tested, working, Konica Auto S2. What do you think happened? Well, the person that posted the listing, 100%, I'm looking at it right now, it's on my screen, 100% credibility, with eight over 800 feedbacks hmm tested working Konica Auto S2 there's not much time left on the auction but nobody's bidding ha huh. the little light bulb in my head went off if you look at the photograph I don't want to show you the listing because it's it's somebody else's listing it's not my listing I didn't list this I don't want to call the guy out or the girl or the woman out 
The photo that they used for the main primary photograph, the one that comes up on the listings, the one you see first, isn't of the Konica Auto S2. It's a photograph of a good camera. It's uh, a, um, a Ricoh FF3 autofocus. Now, I know that camera. I know that camera very well. It's 38 years old. It sold for three hundred dollars, brand new when it came out in '82. Now, to me, '82 is like yesterday, but it's 38 years ago, well, more actually. So, let me go a little, do a little investigation. So, I open up that listing and I start going through the pictures. And there's a picture of a the the Rico FF3 autofocus. Okay, it says tested and working keep scrolling through the pictures is a picture of a camera i did not know existed it's called the wittenauer you know the watch people the wittenauer it's called the wittenauer legionnaire now wittenauer made watches very expensive watches but back in 1950s they sold their name to be put on cameras made by Braun. You know Braun, the people that make blenders till today, right? Apparently Braun in the 50s made a lot of cameras under their name, right? So I'm like, okay. So I kept going through and sure enough, there it was. Konica Auto S2 was listed as part of a three camera bundle, $19. And don't forget what it said. Tested, working. So I go into the description and it says, I'll summarize, uh, they're from a local estate. All cameras have been tested by a professional and found to be in working order. Now, the Wittenauer, which I never heard of, Legionnaire, uh, found that there was some problem with the lens, but we'll look into it. Bottom line is, I won the auction. $19, three film cameras. Okay? I didn't open it yet. I didn't open it yet. It just came today. I didn't open it yet. I'm going to open it with you guys. Okay? Let's take a look inside. Let's cut away from my face in case my modeling career <laughs> starts. All right. Let's see. Don't worry. I'm not going to cut into the camera gear. I know everybody's worrying. hope this is exciting for you guys as it is for me $19 $19 and priority shipping all right I think that's enough with the blade before we have a terrible accident all right I don't know what's in here there could be a pair of shoes in here I don't know business card thanks for your business I won't say the fellow's name huh pretty cool all right this is really well packed bubble wrap wow these are those bubble wrap mailers I'll save those. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Really well wrapped up. Let me put this down. Okay. Let's open up here. I'll take let's just show you if I can. Let me just bend this down a drop. So you guys can see what I'm gonna open up. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. Let's open up one by one. Um, 
first one. Hey, he didn't seal them up. That means I could reuse the envelopes. All right. This. Whoa. This is the Rico FF3 autofocus camera. So far, so good. Now, don't forget, if I decide to sell the Rico and the Wittenauer, I'll not only means that I'll get the Konica Auto S2 for free, but I'll make some money. Why am I doing this video? Just to show you guys what's possible out there if you just keep an open mind and open ears. Wow, this booklet has never even been opened. Holy cow. The Rico looks good. If you guys see a crack, just put it in the comments. Wow. I'm trying to see. Oh, wrong way. Look at that. Okay. Let's see. Whoa. Battery compartment has batteries. I don't like that idea, but there is no there's no leakage. At least they're Kirkland batteries. Let's see. We're going to walk through this, guys. Get yourself a cup of coffee. We'll just go through this. Wow. The uh, battery compartment. No. Uh, no leakage. No leakage. So I'll put the batteries back in. Just takes... Which is good. I like this idea that it takes just regular two AA alkaline batteries. All right, let's see. I'll turn it, put it back on. All right. What do you think happens if I press the shutter? It sounds like this film again. Huh. Well, what I'll do, what I'll do, ooh, flash. Oh, no, that's the self timer. It's a long self timer. Wow. All right, so what I'll do is off camera, uh, I will. Oh, there's the flash. That's, that's weird. It sticks out the side. It sticks out the side to turn it on. How many people have gotten stuff snagged on that piece of plastic? Okay, so what I'll do later, let me turn this off. What I'll do later is I'll rewind, which I think this film in here, I'll rewind it. And if it looks, if it doesn't say dummy roll on it, I'll develop it and see what's on there. Okay, so remember that this is part of the $19 purchase. The Rico. Huh. Rico FF. Three autofocus. Okay. Let's put this aside. So far. No issues there. By the way, it, it made in Japan. Okay. Let's keep going. This one. Very heavy. I like that he didn't seal these bags. I think I said that already. Ooh, here it is. Here it is. The Konica Auto S2. Look at the way he bagged these up. That's somebody that I kissed. That's why he, this guy, this seller, or this woman, whatever, has 100% credibility rating. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. The inspection card when the camera was made. Inspection certificate, body, lens, Inspector A. Hirakura. Okay, put that on the side. Wow, Ziploc, Ziploc bags, beautiful. Look at that. That's some case. Whoever owned this camera took well, could took very good care of it. In the case. Let's see. 
Oh, oh, baby. This is some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful camera. All right. Let's take a look. Case is in good shape. I'm not really a case guy, but I save them in a big, giant box in case I sell I sell the cameras. I could always include the case. Okay, lens cap. That's good. Built-in lens hood. That's good. Let's give a quick look at all the glass. Oh, the lens is in good shape. No body damage. This. See this? This is the light meter. This is a light meter cover glass. It acts as a uh, magnifier. Sometimes these pop off, but that's intact. It's good. The glass looks good. The glass looks very nice, very clear. Ha! Huh. Lens filter. A Hoya lens filter. You guys that have been with me for two years now know Hoya UV lens filter. Excellent. All right, now let's take a look through the range finder window. Ooh, the uh, focusing knob, very smooth, almost like it's just been lubricated. Let's see. Okay, now, uh, so here's the story with the range finder window. Extremely full of haze. Not a problem because I've had. I don't know <laughs> a lot of these and it's very easy to pop off this top and clean and clean the inside of the rangefinder let me see if I can let you guys see the f the haze I'm talking about okay let's see nope there's the <laughs> there it is now Okay, you see? You see the haze on the inside? Okay, I can clean that all up. I have a lot of experience cleaning that up. Okay, let's just see. Well, first, let's see if there's any film in here like, like the last one. No, I do not believe there's any film in here. Okay, it's on... 60th of a second f 5.6 let's wind it this is the first time we're shooting this that's a great sound all right let's just see what one quarter of a second looks sounds like Oh, what a steal. Now, one five hundredth of a second. Okay, so by ear, sounds good. You know what we have to test now? We're going to look through the back of the lens and see the curtains open. So, let's go back to a half a second. Let's open the lens all the way up to f 1.8 super fast lens let's pull up the film rewind hopefully this will open up oh, it feels like it, everything just moves so smoothly it feels like it's been lubricated all right let's just take a look with the flashlight no film pieces no rust i'm looking here now on the door to feel if the light seals from here you know this has probably been, been closed for you know 30 years sometimes the light seals stick to the steel when you open it and there is some i can feel it in other words it feels like uh rough instead of smooth right that means that the little pieces of foam have come off of here and around here that's not really a big issue. You know what we're going to look for now? We'll just look at the back element, right? Let's look at the back element together. All right, looks fine. 
I'll show you guys. Rear element looks good. Now, let's see. I'll look at the back and you guys look through the front. And let's hope that this shutter really is opening. Okay? You look at you look here now. You look right there and see if you see the flashlight. <laughs> that was half a second. Let's do that again. Perfect. Let's do one. That was a low shutter speed. Let's do a higher one. It is stiff. The shutter selector dial is stiff, but that will loosen up. This is 1 250th of a second. Let's see. See if you can see the, the light flash through the lens. I don't know. Is it too fast? Let me look. I saw it. I'll give you guys one more opportunity to see it. Take a look at the lens. Hopefully you saw it. I saw it. Okay. Okay, so. The Konica Auto S2 with the case. And all the paperwork. In fact, the warranty card is still with it. Okay, no scratches anywhere. Um, later I'll get a, a, a dime and I'll open up this battery compartment. What's funny about when they built this camera, the Konica Auto S2 rangefinder, Konica was so smart. They made this battery cover on all the models plastic because if a battery is going to leak, let's just say, it won't damage the battery cover. Isn't that cool? The sticker is gone, but the glue outline is still there. That's good. The bottom is very good condition. No scratches. The top, very good. Now, you know, um, the battery is only for the light meter. This is a fully mechanical camera, and I won't be buying but it's a mercury battery anyway i won't be buying batteries for this i'll use my sakonic handheld light meter once i clean the inside it's beautiful and the serial number serial number is is low in other words this is old it's it starts with an eight the 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 newer ones are they start with a nine okay but um you see the the uh, type of uh, font. It says Auto S2. And when people go to sell these, they, they use Auto S5 or Auto 52. Okay? It's a little confusing. Beautiful. Okay, let's put this aside. Okay. That's two cameras so far. $19 total for all three cameras. Let's look at the third camera. Now, this is the one, I hope. <laughs> I'm sure it's not at lunch. This is supposed to be the Wittenauer Legionnaire. Wow. This is from 1958. Just bring this up. Uh, manufactured by Braun, 1958. It's a rangefinder, 35 millimeter. Um, shutter speeds are bulb 1 25th of a second 1 50th of a second 1 100 and 1 200th of a second um it's a split image rangefinder made by braun now this camera is 63 years old look at the look at the leather case does it look like to you that this was used every day by the owner? I don't think so. Let's open up the leather case. Now this, if you remember what I said, the eBay seller said 
This is from an estate. So this was all from the same photographer. So if he took care of one camera, he took care of all three of his cameras. Okay. Let's take out the Wittenauer Legionnaire. It's the case. You know, with these cases, these leather cases, usually when you rub your finger, the leather all just turns into sawdust and uh, goes everywhere. All right, let's take a look at the Wittenauer Legionnaire. This is the first time I'm, I'm looking ever at a Wittenauer camera. Okay, so it has a Wittenauer chrome Wittenauer Chronex coated 2.8 45 millimeter lens. Okay, it has a light meter on top, and this light meter cover is to get, um, you know, your different type of reflective uh, light meter readings. But I won't be using it. Look at that. Selenium, I guess, because it, I don't think there's a battery. No. So this is a selenium light meter. Okay. Let's just cover that. I'll cover it up later. All right. So what's the chances of the viewfinder being foggy? Very, mu very much so. Well, okay. <laughs> it looks like just a yellow cloud. You really can't even see out of it. Let's just see if you guys. You see that? You see how cloudy that is? Okay. So now these, I have never taken one of these apart. So I don't know how difficult it is to clean it. Okay, so let's just make sure about any film here's the rewind knob doesn't feel like there's any film in here okay so let's give it a wind not exactly smooth but that's okay and the shutter it looks like the shutter is on the lens all right let's see it says 1 50th of a second. Let's see. That sounded like 1 50th of a second. Wow. It's funny if you go to advance the film, right? And let's say you, you're in a hurry and you don't go far enough that's a good sign that it, it'll just let you know by not flopping back that hey you didn't rewind it a full frame it's funny that it goes all the way almost facing forward okay let's try by sound this is one two hundredth of a second this is the fastest shutter speed that sounds like one two hundredth of a second all right, and let's do the slowest shutter speed before you get to B. Let's try 1 25th, one quarter of a second. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, now, you know what we got to do? We got to open the back. Let's open the back. Little tab here. It opened up pretty good. No rust. That's good. This is what a Wittenauer looks like, made by Braun. Now the serial number is very clear. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's open the lens up to. 2.8 wide open shutter speed 1 25th of a second 
And let's see if the camera shutter works. We did hear it, but that doesn't mean anything. Let's see. See if you can see the light guys coming through the lens. Oh, I know you saw that. All right. Let me look through at it. This way. Oh, yeah. Now, we'll go to one two hundredth of a second. Okay. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I know you saw that. Now, let me look at it this way. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Let's close this up. Okay. So, what do we know? We know that the shutter works. We know that the aperture blades work. We know that it's in actually mint condition. This leather, 60 plus years old, absolutely beautiful. Made in Germany. Stamped on the back. Made in West Germany. So we're good. That just brings the value up a little bit more. Oh, you gotta have one of these. Yep, made in West Germany. it made in West Germany okay proving its age all right um, there's not many screws on the top for me to try and take it off but that's that's not really the problem it comes from once you start taking this off right because you have to get this chrome cover off to get to the internal range finder lenses to clear them it takes no problem at all to clean them you just use lens cleaning fluid on a q-tip and you clean it and it's clean it'll and it'll stay clean for another 60 years the problem is being able to take the top off and then put it back on that's where it really comes from so i think we did well with nothing else in the box three cameras 1958 Whitnawa Legionnaire. Okay. The camera I <laughs> was looking for, Konica Auto S2, rangefinder, finest rangefinder in the land. And our third camera, part of the $19 bundle. The Rico FF3 Autofocus. <laughs> Definitely sounds like this film in here. Um, let's see if there's a little window somewhere on here. There's a little, not a window, but there's a little, there's a little uh, light that should go on and off flicker if the film is moving let's just see let's lower this light a little bit let's see if we can see and which one is it it's this one it's this bottom light let's see i'm going to take a picture let's see if you can see let's see if you can see the light flicker yep <laughs> this film in here is son of a gun there's film in here it's it's most likely it's most likely a dummy roll from uh the person that tested these because i gotta tell you something the, the seller of these cameras was absolutely right he said well she said all tested by a professional and found to be in working order <laughs> let me tell you something i think the person she brought these to cleaned them, lubricated them, and adjusted them. Although, as far as the Wittenauer, they didn't take a chance taking the rangefinder apart 
to clean it. I might. I might. See, with, let me just tell you something. With something like this, with this 63-year-old gorgeous, gorgeous, rare Wittenauer, Wittenauer, they make watches, for goodness sakes, right? <sighs> something like this might be better off being sold as is not as a working camera to take photographs but more as a prop in a jewelry store that sells vintage Wittenauer watches right can't you see this camera this Wittenauer camera in the display case with the Wittenauer watches right Maybe that's how I'll sell it to a shop owner that sells vintage or I don't even know if Wittenauer still makes cam uh, makes watches. But I think that's where this belongs. I think this belongs in a watch shop or jewelry store that sells Wittenauer products. Okay. This one. This one did a little research. This one is one of the highly sought after film cameras for the new generation of Lomography photographers. It has a beautiful sharp lens, but the new wave generation of film photographers feel that this camera is so sought after for their Lomography work because they'll put in some Maybe some uh, expired Kodachrome film <laughs> that's, you know, maybe 35, 40 years old. Shoot it and get that real vintage look or some other type of expired color film and shoot it. Get it developed and it'll have that incredible uh, lomography look to it. Very sought after. So what did we learn today after, I don't know, we got, I think we went a half hour. Uh, use your imagination. Use your imagination when you're looking for cameras. Uh, some of you guys are already there. You're already, you already know to look for cameras with the word lot, L-O-T in the title, because you can get more than one camera, buy them, refurbish them, list them and double your money or triple your money. Okay. So that's been today's uh, class. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I always like to put in some photographs that I've taken over the last 50 years. And I'm not going to let you down. I know we've gone uh, 38 minutes, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? It's only time. It's better than watching television. <laughs> so I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to put up some photographs that I've taken, not of any particular camera or of any particular subject, just some of my photographs that I've sold over the years. These are some photographs that I've sold in galleries since the 70s. All right, check out the photographs. I don't know how many I'll put up. I'll put up some. All right, check them out. I hope you enjoy the photographs. Let's look at them right now. Have a great day.